Well, I have the window open to my studio so I can get some fresh air in here. And it's uh, thundering and lightning outside and raining off and on. So you'll probably hear all that. Um, I'm going to get back on this piece and I'll tell you why in about one second. <laughs> That's a good feather. I'm going to put that aside. Anyway, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. I did this dog uh, all over a year ago to go with a uh, mountain man and Indian woman that I had done. Um, but I decided to take it off of that piece, but I saved the dog and I'm going to think, I'm thinking about putting that, this dog with this warrior. And I've just got to figure out how I'm going to position it. If I'm going to do it at all. I don't know. It's going to add greatly to the cost of this piece. I'll change the angle of his head. His head was like this on the uh, sculpture I was working on, but I think I'm going to change the angle to more like this. But it means I got to reposition his body, which means I'm going to have to detach at least the front legs. Well, and the back legs. And I worked so hard on those paws, but I see no other way of doing it. All right, I'm going to think about it for a few minutes and I'll come back. Okay, I've kind of come to this, uh, design here the dog is not blocking the uh, view of the warrior and it takes care of this weak view here by putting the dog here and uh, at an angle and I pushed the dog back a little bit on his legs so that his legs are kind of supporting him at this angle um, I've got a uh, support on that side and a support on this side of uh, the uh, base so that I can kind of work on it separately but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna have to do it differently than I've got it set up here so I'm going to take that off and uh, wipe off the uh, glue and what I'll do is I'll make a double support with the dog here and then I'll put a piece of board in between the two boards so I can uh, actually anchor it down I just uh, should have done that in the first place all right, I put a support under this side and I've glued it to this board here, which means it's going to have to sit for a few hours to uh, set up. And I'm going to set the dog aside and work on him for a while and uh, get it ready to go. Um, I just, because of the change of the uh, angle and everything like this and the, uh, the dog going here 
Uh, it's going to make some changes to the uh, total design of this piece. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to add some real big cost to uh, producing this. Probably another $500, $600 to the casting. But, and that is magnified into the price, the uh, in, final price of the uh, bronze to the client. I'm trying to keep it as low as I can, but I'm also trying to make the best design possible. And uh, it's just going to involve doing some things that I didn't intend to do in the first place. But it works design-wise. So I'm going to... set the dog onto another table and uh, let it uh, solidify the uh, glue and then I'll come back. It looks like I had uh, a pattern in the uh, these are not leather leggings these are uh, trade blanket leggings and uh, it looks like I got a pattern here uh, in the uh, legging itself, and I'm going to have to uh, reflect that same pattern on the uh, legging over here as well. I really like the way this has turned out. I'm going to work on his hand too, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do some tidying up of uh, the piece. I need to shorten his bow quiver just a little so that the dog won't be uh, smashing it. That actually strengthens the end of the uh, bow quiver, which needed to be strengthened. I'm using a metal tool with a serrated edge uh, on all three sides, and each side has a different depth of uh, serrated edge. And I've just got to angle this tool just right so I keep the uh, texture the same on this side as it is on the other side. So I'll come back tomorrow, I hope, if nothing else comes up, and uh, continue working on my clay here. I'll probably work on the dog tomorrow. So good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.